It is final day here at the 58th edition of the Ripcord Pro Bells Beach. The waves are firing and we are potentially about to see one of the greatest heats in the history of this contest go down. Gabriel Medina, a two-time world champ, going up against John John Florence, who's also got two world titles. These two surfers have been the highest scoring competitors in the event this year. They've both been on fire. Well, here's a quickly look at the 6.67 of Gabriel Medina. Nice size set wave. You saw the warm-up of Medina. Ultimately, it is chilly today. One of the coldest mornings we felt. As you see the little double up section and that's that vertical approach. This is the advantage that Gabriel's gonna have is that vertical approach. And if he can get a couple sections that allowed him, we saw Ryan Callanan earlier this morning pick up a wave with two meaty sections and looking spicy. That warm up he had, he came out sweating. Gabriel Medina, beautiful finish move there and leaving some room considering that these guys uh, are, have the potential to put gigantic numbers. And it just feels like we're uh, on the premises of another. Here we go, Florence looking to answer here. So Florence had a, his first ride, five minutes in here. Medina opened up with a 6.67, just the one turn, but what a turn it is, Pete. Well, he's uh, right back where he was yesterday. A little smoother in conditions comparatively, but I say this anticipated heat, when we saw the matchup, yesterday afternoon we knew fireworks we anticipated fireworks so let's hope the ocean provides the canvas for it i think uh, you're right there is a vertical approach from medina but if anyone on the front side has had that similar approach and been going vertical towards the lift of these waves it's this man john florence not on that occasion Pete, but the difference with john's wave just a lot of power unloaded on that single turn yeah and it's uh you know it's a little fetch a number probably won't be in the top two but this is the type of surfing that he can do and if he could find a wave that's going to give him the opportunity to put two of those together that's where we're going to see excellent i'm sure the surfers have had to kind of recover because ultimately that was a, a massive day of competition and it was probably a bit tiring so out there with second priority at the moment medina easily uh Let's this wave roll through. That's why it just faded away to nothing. But Pete, just quickly, uh, I've got to get your pick for who's going to win this heat and ultimately who's going to go on to win the event. It's got a beautiful canvas. And as the swell drops off, we're going to see more and more of these good waves coming through that you can perform on. Out the back right now, it looks like John's going to catch the corner of this one. We'll see what he does with it. Yeah, big swooping cutback. Not afraid to bounce off that white water in transition. Looking pretty comfortable and relaxed out there at the moment. Both these guys just performing so well in these bigger conditions. And then another devastating finish for Florence. So a four on his first ride for a big single maneuver. He coupled that one up with a couple of cars on the outside. Where's this number going to go, Pete? Well, it's going to be his best wave of the heat so far. I feel like that final move was a bit stronger than the one maneuver he Executed on his first wave. He can really lay into all of his maneuvers. A little wider front end, so it has the float. But it also puts the curve a little bit further up the board. So almost bringing some old school templates to new school equipment with the new bottom. But look at that. I mean, he attacked the lip. That time, that layback maneuver was in the lip. And we touched on how hard it is to attack the lip here at Bells. You know, the transition isn't as steep so when you get up there with that wind blowing up the face it just wants everything to push out the back but the technique there as he digs the nose in and smooth as silk coming out of that maneuver that was very difficult i feel like this is going to match the 6.67 probably even elevate above gabriel medina's score up until this point it was the best ride in the heat where's this one going to fit in well it's going to back up his 6.67 pretty easy to say that right uh, doesn't take a pro analyst to figure that one out but ultimately amazing that he was able to get around that section i mean he lip line rode the top of that wave to keep the speed up and it looked like it was just going to be a one maneuver wave and somehow he gets back to that open face and finishes it up another mediocre score in that kind of uh, same range that we already saw uh, I, I do believe we're going to have to see these guys go up into that eights and nines. It's just it, it's just inevitable. And it comes down to wave selection. We've seen only a couple quality double up waves as we see that carve wow. literally upside down. And that's a maneuver that was more of a projection maneuver. 
but at the same time, very, very critical. Uh, it is out there at the moment without priority. John Florence has the single highest score and an opportunity to jump up into first with a 6-1-7. Bit of movement here. Ooh. So uh, Medina going down. Florence holding on to that prior. And yet no excellent rides yet. The big observation here in the commentary booth yesterday and also down there on the steps where former championship tour competitors and current competitors were watching things unfold is that these two guys were out there surfing in the big conditions whereas a lot of the competitors really looked like they were just surviving some of those bigger set waves. Florence up at the moment chasing the lead. Needs a 6.17 big carve there. Dropped back down into the bowl and up into the left once, once again. Starting to build some momentum for the big finish on the inside here. Banking hard on that tail, tail, so a lot of big turns executed already, and again with the solid finish hanging on. Take a look at John's wave here. This was that first little error. This wave fattened out right there. Had to hop back in it, but this is where it loads up. Beautiful carve, sets it up again. This is with that nice deep section and just lays into it. Rail dug all the way to the stringer. Another one, much more whipped back into it. And a third, so a beautiful wave here. This is where I was a little worried after he gets this maneuver done. He kind of falls off, it was gone. We'll see this one a little better with this angle here. So he lands it, there's some control, but that right there, incomplete. That's the question mark. Take a look here at the wave on the outside section for Medina, a nice steep section. And look at that once again, just highline speed run. So crazy to do that because he gets upside down and your board just wants to fly away from you, but not for Medina. He's got Velcro on his feet. So the mid part of that wave, not as nice as we saw John John get. You know, John John's loaded up, so he's able to get those three big carves done. Again, very similar. So this wave a little bigger, but this turn, look at that. Upside down, lip line, going 100 miles an hour. No worries, just lands in the transition with all that speed. And if he had had another big section here, he just couldn't get up and over it. And if he hits that, he's got a big lead. Instead, this is going to keep that a little bit suppressed. We're always in for a special show. The best of the best always has those moments, right? Those big moments, and they rise to the occasion. Well, Florence, he's out there with that priority. Let's see what he can do with this one. The 26-year-old with five championship tour wins. Counts the semi-final finish is his best result here at Bells. He's been there a couple of times. He wants to crack the final event here. He's on his way. Jeez. Devastating forehand approach on the outside. Making the most of those steep sections before the wave flattens out. Let's see if this one offers up another one of those big, heavy, heaving inside bowls. And Florence gets that solid finish once again. Trying to better a 6.77 with that one. Well, and he's going to do that. And now it opens the door to go extra ballistic because he's going to have two solid numbers and I still feel like they're going to need more. Two-time world champs fighting it out for a place in the semis here. John Florence has just had another keeper score, Pete. He's trying to improve on a 6.77. And great wave choice here. Without priority, Gabriel Medina in position but letting John go and two beautiful arcing carves with that wave stands up that's what the judges want to see those combination of major maneuvers back to back bottom turn to top turn bottom turn to top turn which he's done and he cleans up the finish here and pulls it off so this could be another good number for john john florence and he's going to extend his lead over gabriel medina but look at these arcs i mean that is way up in the lip digs that rail in again sets it up right off the bottom just one little pump too and then lays into it this is what he's been working on with ross williams getting that car showing some variety within it i mean whipping that thing all the way up in the right the crescent right the critical section of that wave nice work there for john florence and medina's getting to that high pressure situation here he's going to eye off this wave doesn't like the look of it down the line john florence says no dramas i'll have a look at it 50 seconds to go and at this point in time, you're probably thinking it was a smart decision from Medina. It doesn't look like a, a wave that's going to offer an 8.38. Florence is going to ride this one in, looking over his shoulder to see if Medina's going to get an opportunity on the outside. 
What a return to competition for this man. Medina, 12 championship tour wins. Knows how to close out events and compete oh. under pressure, but he can't get into this one. 10 seconds remaining, and John Florence is going to get the win, and look at the heat score total. Wow. Oh, man. Good job there for John John Florence. The heat lived up to it. He knows how important that win was. That's a world title heat. It is. For sure. John Florence started the year so well. Semi-final finish. Or was it a quarter-final? I'm sorry. Semi. Semi. Yep. And it was uh, Gabe, sorry, that had the quarterfinal finish. Yes. So this is a massive more. advantage. And he's the guy you want to be because he, he's so devastating when he gets to the later uh, rounds here. But John Florence is on his way to potentially his best ever finish here at the Rip Curl Pro Bell Speed.